So here we have the first of three auditors who've produced so many great audits this year that I'm including one in each of the next two rounds. In this one, these two gormless coppers unknowingly decide to go into battle with possibly the sharpest auditor out there and subsequently manage to set themselves up for what might be the best one-liner of any audit this year. Thank fuck we've got people like this out there kicking back against the slow day-by-day -day infringement of our freedoms. So all hail, Focus Pocus. Are you okay? How are you alright? Fantastic. What are you up to? Uh, just exercising my right. Anything more than that? <laughs> what, do, what do you mean? What? You're outside the police station, someone said you're taking pictures, mate. I just came to make sure it's all Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's all lawful, isn't it? Yeah. The issue is we've got plain vehicles that, that don't need pictures taken on while they're in the police station. Well, I'm not doing it because you need it. I'm doing yeah. it because I want it. Okay, right. So what's the crack with the drone, then? Um, it gets me better pictures. Of what? Of anything I want to take. Okay. Would you show me the pictures you're taking? No, not at all. Right, okay. Yeah. Why not? Well, why would I want to? Well, what have you got to hide? Well, who are you? The police. Well, so what? What have you got to hide? That's, that's my suspicion. Well, have you got any pictures of your wife I can see? This is a police station. That's oh. right, which I paid for. You paid for it? I paid for it as well as you, don't I? Right, yeah. So it's a police station, OK. Yeah. Where are we going with this? Uh, I well, tell you what, nice let's cut to the chase. Do you want to inhibit my activity here? I don't know why you're using phrases like that. I've come you, out to because, make sure that you're... Because, well, let's cut, let's cut to the chase. Good. Let's cut to the chase. Yeah. I'm allowed to do this. Part of, one of the first those? protocol says I can enjoy my possessions yeah. without the interference of police. So why are you interfering with them now? With, so, Hold do you on. not understand how it looks? doesn't matter how it looks. Uh, Surely my right we're not, to... We're not here. We're just here to have a conversation with you. With regards to the drone, the drone's yeah. stepped too far flying that, flying that over. It's what, sorry, it's stepped too far? Yeah, flying that In your opinion? Public, no, flying that within... Is it in your opinion, though? ...public building. All right, so you don't know the drone laws? His opinion is law. Okay, what is the law, then? Right. The, the oh, listen, just... hold on a minute, because you, you seem like you're buffering. What is the law because on I that? Because I want to give you the right answer, don't Okay, I? go All for right. it. So I'm going to find the right answer, and then we'll come and sort it. Oh, so you don't well, know right. it? <coughs> I don't know. Ah, well, I would have thought it. before you tell us that, that that it's the law, that you would know it. I know for a fact you're not allowed to fly the drone over a public building. Oh, okay. You'll be arresting me any minute soon then, won't you? You know, see how this looks? You're coming out and telling me that you know the law and then you're having to Google it. Well, Do you not know, see how that looks? So well, wouldn't you look at it before you come out? I mean, you wouldn't go out to anybody else and say you're not allowed to do this, would you?
these two are looking up the law. Jeepers. Unbelievable. so we can have a chat with you. Okay. If you could... I just, just don't want to... Let me land it before, uh, before you talk to me. Go on. I'll just take this car. This is your captain speaking. We have landed in some shithole. As you can see, the baggage handlers are in attendance. Please don't leave any belongings or the cleaners will have them. Thank you. Ooh. What's your details, please, my friend? One, 1440 Handbag. What's your first name? One, you don't need to know my first name. I know, but I want to. What's your first name? Sam. Sam, Sam yeah. Bambi. Sam Bambi. Sam, Sam Hanby. Yeah. What's what? your name? I'd never give it. It's not. I well, don't need to, do I? Well, you do though, don't you? Because it's policy. Yeah, it's policy. Yeah, that's giving my details so I don't find it. You not got any work on today? Pardon? You not got any work on? Yeah, I've got work. Ah. Yeah. What are you doing out here then? What? I'm supposed to be going home. But I've been called because somebody's taking photos outside the station. Alright. That's why I'm not in the kit. Major crime. Hey, come on, mate. I want to fly this. If you want to chat with me? Come on now. You're not entitled to fly the train. No, I am. Within 50 meters of vehicles that run out of control. Is that right? Where do you read that? It's Article 265 of the Air Navigation. Oh no, not 265. Come on, mate, I've got runway charges here piling up. Do you want to chat with me? Hey? See you later, guys! Right, get the popcorn ready because this next one's a fucking blockbuster. Julian Chamberlain, or the coin guy as most people probably know him, puts in a hell of an auditing shift in this one. A migrant hotel is the backdrop to the action, where JC's unflappable nature combined with a highly volatile situation makes this one of my favourite audits of the year. Even after all the fracas, he manages a flawless account of events, gets a gang badge roast in, and if that wasn't enough, you'll know what a magnolia tree looks like for the rest of your life. Enjoy. Hi. Yeah, I'm just making a video. Um, it's closed at the minute. It's private. Oh, is it? Yeah, so unfortunately you've got to leave, mate. Okay, that's okay. okay. I'm fine. So we can't have any filming. Yeah, that's okay. I'm fine. I'm happy to, happy to leave. Okay, no cool. problem. Who, you. who are you? You security? We got security, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's hired out for private use. So. Oh, right. What is that private use? Um, I don't have to tell you as it is private. Yeah. Um, don't you think there's public interest, maybe? No. Uh, you can stop filming me as well. I don't give you permission to film me. Is there any harm in telling us? What's the problem with telling us? Because I already told you it's private. Mm -hmm. I've asked you not to film me. Yeah, I understand that. But so you need to leave side, please, sir. Yeah, yeah I'm happy to leave. That's we fine. Need to start leaving now, please. Okay, I'm just curious as to why you don't want to tell me what the purpose is. I, I think I know what. I can call the police. That's and right. Tell them that you're trespassing. 
Yeah, yeah, that's okay. It's a civil dispute. We need to start leaving, please, sir. Yeah, I will do. I, you know, we'll be now, leaving. Please. Yeah, I will be in a minute. No, now, please, mate. <laughs> I've explained to you. Well, I'm just curious. I think it's um, only reasonable that you kind of explain I what's going on here. I don't have to at all, sir. Why not? Why, is there something because to hide? Not. There's nothing to hide. It's for a private function. I've but it's been going that. on for months, isn't it? I don't have to tell you that either, sir. So I mean, I know so what it is. Again, I know what it is. It's like again, sir, it's a hotel for. I do not have to. It's a hotel for refugees, isn't it? Hotel for refugees, isn't it? Start leaving, please. Hotel for refugees, isn't it? It's a hotel for refugees, yeah. Daryl, can uh, you get hold of the police? This gentleman's refusing to leave. No, no I'm he's not filming leaving. me after I've told him he's not allowed to. No, no, I'm not refusing you need to leave. To start leaving, please, sir. Yeah, I'm not refusing to leave, sir. Well, you need to start leaving. I've asked you to okay. leave now, please, sir. Well, I'm leaving, right? Well, you need to start walking to the exit. But what, you, why, why is the policy to um, say we're not going to keep this secret and we're not going to tell anybody um, the reason why, you know, what's going on here? No comment, Why sir. wouldn't you do that? You need to keep leaving, please, sir. What, what's so secret? Sir, what's so secret? I've not given you the right to film me. You need to keep I'm leaving, leaving, please. I'm leaving. You can see I'm you leaving. Do not have, you cannot film me. I'm not giving you permission to film me. Okay. This video is used. I will be seeking legal advice. I have okay. given you no permission to film me. Okay. Okay? Do you want to give us your name? No. No. Okay. I don't have to. All right. I but why do, you think do not it... give you permission to use my face in any film. So you need to keep leaving, please, well, I think you're quite a handsome chap. I think you should be proud of it. No, mate. <laughs> why, why the so secrecy, though? I Quick am leaving. Please. No. Darryl, have you got another police, please, mate? Sir, so keep leaving, please. I'm leaving. You can see I'm you leaving. Know, you can get the camera out of my face as well, please, sir. Well, if you stand back a bit, then it won't be in you your need face. To keep leaving. That's it. If you stay there, then it won't be in your face, will it? No, sir. So why the secrecy? That's all I'm asking. No comment, I don't like, if it's like a refugee centre, why would you say, oh, it's a refugee centre no for? I do not have to tell you. Why the secrecy? Sir, no comment. I that kind of know. like creates a level of suspicion, I think, by saying by keeping it all secret. Sir, I'm looking forward to seeing you in court. <laughs> you've still got the camera in my face. What would the charge be? Well, I've given you no permission to use but my face. How do you know that's an offence? I know it's not an offence. It would be if you were in your. It would be if you were in your private house, but you're not in your private house. This is a private function, isn't it? So. Yeah. And you said you've asked me to leave. Yeah. And I am leaving, as you can see. So why? Why? Why can't you just answer the question? I mean, people were interested in this sort of thing. Please but they're even more interested now you won't tell me what it's all about. Please keep leaving, sir. Don't you think they'd be even more please interested leaving, that there's an element of uh, sort of secrecy? Please keep leaving, sir. Is it nefarious, the reason why you won't tell please me? keep leaving, sir. I'm almost there. Just a few more metres and then I'm there. There you go. Here we are. Right. Happy with this spot? Hi up. I'm just filming the magnolia tree. Do you work here? Yes. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I said, do you think you've got enough of the tree already? No. There's plenty of other trees. Is there, um, no, you don't need to point your camera no, at me. No, 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 don't you touch no, you my don't camera. Need to point your you, camera at me. No, 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 don't you touch okay, my stuff. Go on, then I'll have you arrested for touching okay. my stuff. I don't, you're not giving my permission to record me. Look, you're touching me again. I don't give a shit because I want you recording me. Honestly, I will use self defense okay. if necessary. Get off, get off my stuff. Get off my stuff. No, it's my stuff. Are you crazy? Go no, away. No, no, Are you crazy? Me. Are you crazy? Go on, go. Go out I'm now. Public go. Fuck you. Go, go out now. Go on, go. I'm on public property. Kick yourself up and get the fuck out. Stay away go from out. me. Why do you think?
Go look inside. He's just kicked me for the record. You're provoking people. You've been very. It's immature. a lawful activity. Three-year-old man. Yeah. You're acting very immature. No, I'm not. I'm just filming in public. Yeah, you're filming in public and you're agitating people. Stay yeah. there, would you? I, see, I can listen to your instructions. I can stay there. Thank you. Thank you. Right, for the record guys, a guy attacked me. I had to fight and defend myself, give him a fat lip. Um, and then the other guys came out. They were from Palestine and stuff. And uh, he said he was happy, he doesn't care about life. He hasn't come here for a better life. He's come to do us over, that's what he says. Hello. How are you doing? Alright, thank you. Oh, um, have you been filming the whole thing? Yep. You have? Okay. So you've got a bit of an injury on your Have side. I? I can't even, I haven't noticed it yet. What's that? I haven't, I haven't noticed, noticed it yet. Do you want me to tell you what happened? Okay, yeah. Well, what I'm going to do is, um, at this time, I'm just going to caution you just because obviously um, there might be an offence happening, so I want to yep. obtain the evidence and make sure that obviously your yep. legal rights okay. are intact. Yep. So you don't have to say anything, but may harm defence, you'll mention when questioned, something which later on in court, anything you do you say may be given evidence. Do you understand okay. what that I trap just told over you? Just let you know I've got my body one video going as well. All right, right. Well, thank you. Well done, um, thank you very much. My colleagues obviously just speaking with um, the guys over there. We'd have a report, obviously, hence we've turned up, so we'll just establish what's, what's gone on. Um, obviously, if you want to tell me anything, that's down to yourself. I'm not going to ask you anything at this stage, all right? So, what's the point of you attending then? What's the point of me attending is that we've had a 999 call, we've had yep. several actually, yep. um, and obviously we've had somebody reported that someone's been filming, I yep. don't know what that person's role is or who that person is, you're obviously standing here filming and you've got an injury to yourself as well and a slight um, kind of, I don't know if it's a yep. so that, as well. What would that indicate to you? Well, that you've been potentially assaulted, well, Thank you. Um, but I don't know the full story yet. Right, so, well why don't you ask me what the full story is? What's that? Because I want to establish... Um, From the complainant first? Anything. What's that? From the complainant first? Well, from our caller. Yeah, from right. our caller first. And then I'm going to go from there. But obviously, you're free to say anything you want at this stage. All right? Yeah. Okay. Is he doesn't he... live here. No, he said he's... Oh, yeah, you're right. Tie up. Obviously, Brett has got an injury as well. Oh, okay. Um, so, if we can find out. Okay, he attacked me first, and I've got it. I've re video take the whole thing so it's quite clear okay are we able to review that can we watch that yeah now, well only after you've heard my, heard my story of what happened yeah of course yeah, right so i <clears throat> i'm interested in the uh, hotel because um from my understanding it might be a center for refugees and things so um i went there's no signs on it saying um it's private property or um restricted access or anything so i walked around to the car park and the security guard approached me and asked me to leave so i left Okay, um, I filmed him as I left walking backwards and I stood on this side of their fence on the public pavement. And then that chap with the uh, cut lip, yeah, he was walking a bin across and asked me what I was filming. And at the time I was filming the magnolia tree and daffodils and things and talking about the spring day. Um, and he put the bin over there and then he came out and, um, and then he approached me and told me to stop filming the hotel. And I said, I'm on public property and uh and he um he went to grab my my phone and grab my arm so i back, backed off and said don't touch me i'm on public property it's lawful activity filming i'm not doing anything wrong okay. yeah to which he grabbed my arm and wrestled it me to the ground took my phone off me and threw it on the floor and then uh, proceeded to att to attack me I, I told him before that i'd defend myself if necessary um and and that's what happened and then the other guys came out one of them um a palestinian chap and um, he was very sinister and said he wanted to kill me over in the bushes or something. Um, and I said, well, you know, I tried to make friends with him peacefully. I said, I'm just here peacefully filming. In, in this country, 
it's a free country, we can peacefully film. Um, he said he wanted to do me over. I said, didn't you come here for a better life? He said, no, I came here to do you over. Yeah. Um, and, well, that's probably basically it. That guy in the green top came along and seemed to bring some common sense to it. But the other two, that guy who's behind the uh, guy with the cut lip, he was wanting to attack me as well and do me over. I didn't, yeah, I didn't do any, I didn't do anything unlawful, right? It's not unlawful to film in public, right? It's not, I, it's not, if he's cut his lip, it was through my self-defence. And you can see on the video footage, yeah, yeah, we can review that. You can see on the video footage that he attacked me first and it was purely in self-defence. Obviously, yeah, I've arrived, I've had a chat with him, and he's saying that you've turned up here filming, and you've then punched him to the mouth. Yeah, only after he's attacked me. Okay. And that's this scratch that you've Yeah, got. and I've got a bump on my head. Uh, yeah, yeah. and I can show you on video footage. So he, attacked, yeah. he touched me two or three times trying to grab me, and yeah. grabbing hold of my yeah. hand, and I, and I warned him. Yeah. I warned him. That, yeah, the, the outside I'll look footage. At the footage as right, well. are you ready to look at this my colleague's just still trying to wait for the CCTV footage, yep. um, but I'm quite content from what I've spoken to him about and what you've shown me on the footage, um, that we'll be obviously raising a crime report with yourself as the victim. Yep. Um, would you be willing to provide us a statement about what's happened and attend court if necessary? Because we can sort that out now for you if you yep. want. Um, perfect. Um, what would need? Do you like if I take some photographs of your injuries as well? Yeah. What is it, a little scuff and a bit of a, an yeah, abrasion? Yeah, so you've got a bit of a, a cut here, a slight bit of there, and then an abrasion up your um, kind of forehead. And I can see you've got a slight cut to your No, fingers. that's a burn that oh, I that's did a the burn, other day. is it? Oh, right. Yeah. I wasn't sure if that's where you grazed yourself on the no, way down or something. No, I was putting an inappropriate mug in the microwave. Oh, right. The handle <laughs> got really hot. Oh, no, it doesn't sound great. Where do you guys get those badges from? Do you get them on eBay? Uh, yeah. All sorts, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I'll be probably honest, I don't remember where I got this one from. I think it may have been a gift, actually, possibly. Yeah, any, any kind of site, any like police site usually does it, eBay does it, um, emergency services sites. I thought initially that they were, there was some um, police charity because they're um, something to do with um, looking after people. I thought that had been police officers who had been hurt in the oh, course see. of duty. Yeah, so a lot of the money that you pay for the Thin Blue Line badges ends up going towards charity. But not if you got them off of eBay. Well, no, not if you got them off of eBay, of course, no, but I don't usually buy them off of eBay. Do some officers get them on eBay then? Um, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, I know it's a bit of a thing, people go on about it, mm. don't they? But it just seems a bit weird that um, you can buy badges and decorate your police uniform uh, with stuff that you can buy on eBay. But when you, like... Uh, what I don't understand here is... Um, when you kind of like joined the police force, did they say, right, we've got a nice little Velcro bit there, you can choose a badge on eBay and stick it on there? <laughs> no, they've not said that at all, no. But it's kind of a, a show of solidarity and support. So you see a lot of um, paramedics um, and fire crew as well. They might have the same. Um, so it's just tolerated by the uh, by your superior oh, authorities? Yeah, yeah definitely. I think just it's, tolerated? I think it's, it's not necessarily tolerated. I think it's more seen as a, you know, most of the time the money's been given to charity um, and it shows support for um, your fellow colleagues and other merchant services. So sometimes you'll see ones that have got um, a green and yeah, red Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. as well. The fire brigade um, and the ambulance. Yes, yeah, they But again, and you can buy them on eBay, so I don't get it. You might have to take the photos now. I've got my camera. Yeah, sure. Cheers. <laughs> it's easier if you just kind of like look at the camera that way. And then I'll just get one from the side. Do you want to see me lump? Yeah, see you lump. I only really found out about this guy earlier this year, but his channel's blown up and rightly so with audits like this. In this video, Power to the Proletariat happens across a PCSO who is quite possibly a danger to the public. The guy is completely unaware of his responsibilities, spouting absolute made up bullshit as law. And for me, this video typifies exactly why we need police auditors. PTTP also schools a couple of gobby WPCs as well, who are clearly not used to somebody standing up to them. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not bad, not bad. Is there a reason why you're, why you're videoing police cars, etc., etc.? Oh, that's fine. 
interesting car, isn't it? Not really. Uh, not to you then. So, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> not to you. To me. Oh, it's not standard, is it? It's all modded out. It's, uh, yeah, so not to you. It may, it may not be interesting, but to me it is. Yeah. We can, we can, uh, who are you? Yeah. Oh, sorry, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm a BCSO. Working BCSO. Your yeah. collar number? 6081. Have you got your designation card on you? I've got what? Got your designation card on you, please. No, 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 your designation well, card. I need to carry that PCSOs must at all times carry a designation card to present to the public. They don't. Oh, they do? No, they don't. Of course they do. Well, I've done this job for 14 years and I've never been told that. You've never been told that? Okay, that's fine. I'll report that well, to you. I'll report that to you, Chief Constable. Know, that's not a problem. Card is. Designation yes. card. You don't know what it is? I've never known it. Wow, that, that's that's poor. And, and I'm not saying it's poor on you. It's poor on whoever's done your training yeah. and whoever updates your training. It's quite poor on so, them. Who, who's in charge of your training? Is it the chief constable, sergeant, or training department? Training based department. Here. Now based here, are they? Okay, no worries. I'll go in and make a complaint in a second. Then that's not that's not. So what's your interest in the police anyway? Then police cars and videoing them when they come but, out of the station. But I, I'm, I'm still I'm still sorry. I'm still stuck on the fact that you don't know what a designation card oh, is. It's, it, it, your designation card is something that a PCSO should carry at all times, and it lists all the powers that a PCSO have because you don't have the same powers as a police constable do you um, so it lists all of those powers so when interacting with a member of the public and they ask to see your designation card you're obliged under your policies to, to show that to show what powers you do and don't have in difference to a constable yes. and that's why it's important because you know you're dressed in a high vis black trousers the only thing that's slightly different is obviously the blue top and it does say PCSO but quite small letters but if somebody couldn't read for example and you know they, they may just take for granted that you're a police constable. So how would they know um, if I showed them a designation? Because, like I said, it lists the powers that you yeah, have. They wouldn't read it, would I? Would they? They could be able to, they can't see small. Well, that's true. They, yeah, that's true. But you could read it out to them. Uh, you know. So, but it's, it's, it's important well, that you have it. I don't know your name. No, that's fine. Uh, you can call me sir, that's not a problem. I don't need to. I've been here 14 okay. years. Uh -huh. No one has ever asked me for a designation card. So. Well, there's a first for everything. That, you know, no, there's a first. Yeah. For, there's absolutely there's a first for everything. So yeah. there you go. So there's first aid being asked. And uh, are you prepared to give me your name? Oh, uh, no, no, not at all. No, no. Why would I give you that? Well, because I'm asking you for it. Oh yeah, you're, but you're, if I feel that I'm, I've got a problem, you're empowered to give me your name. I know that. Do you realise that? I, I'm in. I'm in what? I'm empowered to give you my name. To give me your name if I ask you for it. Am I? Yes, you are. Under what, under what legislation is that? That's new to me. What, try the police and the uh, legislation? Yeah, what section? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, genu I'm no, genuinely no, no, interested because no, no. I don't know no, that. I, I get just, as anyone would do, if you've got somebody directs that side of the police station, uh -huh. videoing cars coming in and out, etc. Yeah, it's called a dynamic shot. Like, if I just hold it like that, that's a bit boring. I want to get a dynamic shot of the vehicle coming okay. out. And you're playing to with the pictures or what? Uh, that's up to me, isn't it? Yeah, Is this... well, so if you're the person, I've got the pictures, so if you don't want to give me your name. Yeah. Because I'll just call the police officer over here and you'll have no Oh, is, that not, is there not one in the vehicle? No. You're both PCSOs? Yes, we are. Uh, okay. Oh, that's, that's fine. I mean, you can do what you have you need to do. I feel like you're wasting their time, but uh, that's up to you. Well, you're not going to give me that. Well, why, why would I? Well, because it just makes it easier for me. Yeah, but well, make, make, okay, wait, wait. Initially, I legally had to, and now it's just because it makes it easier for you. Which one is it? Because if I legally had to... Okay, okay, if you can tell me which legislation, which act, which act I will happily provide that okay, to you. I'll get a police officer. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, you can't just go around demanding people's information like that. Are you a Gestapo? I mean, you look old enough to be a Nazi. Is that what it is? It's part of the Gestapo. You think you just stop and ID people in a free country? What? What country? Where? Do, where do you think you are? Careful what you're doing with your hand. Don't go doing a salute, will you? Pardon? Said to careful what you're doing with your hand. Don't go doing a Nazi salute. Oh! Be careful what you say. Well, you're going to stand there and demand ID from me when you have no lawful reason. No, yeah. There we go. All right. Bizarre. Sorry, uh, PCSO, your collar number? Okay, have you got a designation card on you? Uh, I do, yes. Yeah, you do have a designation Can I see that, please? See, this is what a designation card is. Would you like to show this? He's been in the force 14 years, never carried one, and doesn't know what one is. How bad is that? Okay, can I, can I have a look at that? Yeah, can I have a look in the booklet, please? So, I'll see what powers you've got, yeah. There we go. First, I'll just get some shots of that so my viewers can see what... Yeah, that's it for the next page. I just need a quick flip of it, really. Oh, sorry, so the pages are stick to... No, that's Brian. Thank you. Hiya. Um, I'd like to make a... Oh, sorry. sorry. I'd like to make a complaint against a PCSO. Okay. 
Okay, no problem at all. You've got full yeah. details, yeah? Pardon? I've got his collar number. <laughs> so yeah, he approached me, um, and uh, A, he doesn't know what a designation card is, said he's been in the force 14 years, and doesn't know what a designation card is, didn't have one to show me, um, which they have to have, um, and then he started demanding my name, um, saying that there is legislation that means I lawfully have to give him my name, which I don't, you know, um, but he was, uh, what's the word? asserting that I do, um, which is, you know, using colour of law to intimidate, to potentially breach my right to my private and home life under Article 8 of the Human Rights Act. So, yeah, that, that's what I'd like to make a complaint about. Um, he needs retraining. 14 years, how many people's rights has he abused in that time? Sure. Could you right. stop filming? So I understand you're filming. If you're I'm filming here, that's fine. Right. You're right. 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 but you can't film behind the glass, okay? okay? Because there's confidential information. Well, if there's confidential information behind there, okay. it shouldn't be on view for me to even record in the first place. If it is, okay. you've already broken GDPR but, but by we, having it on that, display. We have well, then, well then, then there's nothing to worry about, is there? Okay. No worries. So you can you, no, you, 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 you can leave now. Just don't film. Don't film. Don't film behind the glass. You can leave three walls, but you can't film behind the glass. And what if I do? I already have it on my delete button. It's broken. Your phone. No, you can't. See that for what? Under what legislation? You're causing a public nuisance. I'm not causing yeah, a public you are. nuisance. It is public I'm, ma I'm recording <laughs> evidence. That's what I'm doing. I'm making a complaint and I'm recording for evidential purposes. For what purpose? It's, I've what just told you. You have to film what the I've just told. I've just told you for <laughs> evidential purposes because I'm making a complaint. I want you've made your and I right and I want a rec I want my own <laughs> record of that. Right. I don't want your record. I want my record of that, and I'm entitled to my record of you that. You are, but you cannot film confidential confidential ev like. You can, have the, you can have the audio, you can have your phone put down on this one, you cannot be filming behind this Why? Well, I don't understand, why not? Panel, why not? Because, because you can't. What law stops me from doing it? Because that could be someone's If you can tell me a there. law that tells that stops it. Conspiracy okay. laws, public nuisance, okay. that okay. is a law. Okay, so you're saying that there's, there could be public information so behind there. Yes, yeah, if you, if you want to be served, I'm happy to have this conversation here. <laughs> right. But, okay, so you're saying potentially there could be people's information in there. Right? If that information on display for my camera to it's pick up, display, well then what's the issue? If it's on display if you video it. Okay, if it's on display, as in if, if anybody walks No, if anybody walks in and sees it. No, but they can't. Well then I can't see it either. If I can't see it, my camera can't see it. My camera is not magic, it doesn't loop around the bend. No, but we're just saying just don't yeah. record around and yeah. look onto the camera. Like onto the laptop. I'm not. I'm literally, I'm literally holding it. I'm literally holding it like that. That's all I'm doing. We're just, we're just here just to let you know that obviously just. I can, I can record anything I can see from a public area, and this is a public area. If I can see it, I can record it. It's your private area. But okay, so okay, so if I'm stood on the pavement, if I'm stood in the pave out on the pavement out there, can I record into your car park? Absolutely. But that's a private area. Okay, but that's not the point. The point is... Well, you make your there's mind no, up. There's no confidential information in the car. There's no confidential information there is, here. There is confidential what, what confidential information? information? There's people, victims' details. There's police well, officers there's, coming back and forth with documents and things. Well, then they, they, they shouldn't be visible to my eye. And if they are, you've already broken GDPR and you're in the wrong because the onus is on you to We're keep that information. Well, then go away. I'm not here to argue. Go. There's no point arguing. Go. Um, What's your collar numbers, please? 1626. Thank you. Of course, you can know that. Um, if you make a complaint, please carry okay. on. Okay. Did you turn your cameras on when yeah, you were approached? The are okay, on. why did you not tell me when you were approached? Is it your policies, is it not? It's not our policy, we just have to tell you at the first at the most practical first most practical opportunity we've been having a conversation with you we've been trying to and you could have you could have started the conversation with hi sir my body camera is on and finally the big dog himself there's so many great audits to choose from AB but I've gone for this one in this round. I mean, just how many audits actually gain a public apology from the head of West Mercia Professional Standards? How fucking excruciating for them. But at the same time, fair play for admitting you're in the wrong for a change. I've got a feeling though DC926 Joanne Bills won't be doing this again anytime soon. Assertive banter, always brilliant, it's AB. See what I did there.
Hi. I noticed you were following me. Is there any reason? Is there a reason why you're filming? Yes. Okay, okay. What's that then? Why are you following me? Why are you following me? Why are you filming? Sorry? Why are you filming? Police officers. Police officers. Yeah. Show the number. I didn't see it. 1527. And you are? I'm also at the police station. Show the number. Why are you filming? Show the number. Why are you filming? Show the number. That's your question. Are you a PC? No, I'm a DC. I feel you're a DC, so you need to give me a show the number. My car number is 926. Thank you. Is there any reason why you're following me? Is there any reason why you're filming? Yes. Okay. Okay. But why are you following me? Because you're filming. You're filming. Because I'm filming, you're, you're following me. filming the police station, yes. Anybody that films, you just follow them? It was filming the police station, yes. Why? Because we don't know why you're filming the police station. You film from the rear and now you film from the front. Sir? Sure. So is, it, is there a reason why you're filming the police station? Yes. Okay, can you tell us the reason why you are filming? Do I have to give you that reason? You do, yes. Do I? You do, yes. Is that a law I have to give you that? Or? I'm, I'm asking you, politely, why you're filming the back of the police station and filming the front of the police station. So if you're asking me politely, I don't have to tell you, really, do I? I I'm, a, I'm asking you, why you're filming? So because of that, you just followed me all this time. You know, you caused me alarm and distress with all yeah, this following. Me alarm and distress because I work in the building. I want to know why you're filming it. Am I your uniform colleague here? I right. speak to you. So, yeah, these two ladies just, they've been following me for quite a while. So we've been told that uh, someone, match your description, has been walking around the police station uh, filming the car. Well, so I, the kinda, I, walk, I came once. Came once where? I walked from that way and I just came and it's just filmed. Have you been around the back of the police station at all? The back? Yeah. Uh, I came from that way, yeah. Whatever the, I meant. Back, you tell him, you tell him what the I... The back being Broomfield Crescent. Is that, is that what it is? Broomfield Crescent, yes. Okay, so and I walked the, all the way. Where the blue gates are. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we're police officers. All right. We're walking around and we saw you filming from Broomfield into the backyard. Okay. We've then followed you around here and you yeah. continue so to film. So whatever she said, yeah. Film at the front of the police station. So, so you have been around the back there. Is there a reason why? Inside? I didn't go inside, it no. It's a matter inside, around the back. Around the back? Yeah. On uh, public land? It's not public land, it's... Uh... It was public land, I did not go to the back. Let's make it very clear. Okay. So, so is public it, land. Is there a reason, reason why you're filming through the back gate? Is there any reason? Yeah, is there a reason? Yeah, just to film. <laughs> to film what? what what's... Just to making a video over the police, that's it. And what's the... Where would you put the video? What's it? Am I being detained, to? guys? No. no, I'm just asking questions. Am I free to go? No. no, no, not at the moment. So I'm being detained? Information from I'm yourself. asking you questions. No, no, no. Am I being detained? You're, you're well, asking questions about why you're filming. And I just told you. I just told you. Matters of public interest. I'm making a video over the police. Mm -hmm. Am I being detained? You are being detained for questioning, yes. Uh, which section okay. you detain me over there? I have just watched you walk the front of the police station and film inside that police car. Correct. Okay. So we are asking you why you are doing that. I need to tell me which section you detained me no, under. No, no. I've given you enough. No. Two uniform colleagues. Yes. We've given you identification. You're the detaining number. officer. So we've told you who we are. I'm yeah. DC 926 Joanne Bills. What is your full name in my office? Yeah. Uh, all right, hang on. Today? Okay, I've heard what you said. I heard what absolutely you everything. What is your What's name, your name please? Let me just respond to her one second. Yeah. I've heard everything you said. Yeah. Yeah. Are you the detaining officer and which section are you detaining me under? I, I'm detaining you under the Terrorism Act at this moment in time. Which section? Okay. Please give me your name or are you fine to give me your name and address? Because the next step is to arrest you. It's as simple as that. Hang on, okay. Which section are, are, you, are I you, need to are you, need... you failing to give me your name and address? Officer, listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's which, you. you need to tell me which section you detained I've, me look, under. I have, I have asked you, are, you are acting suspiciously. Okay. I have a reason I want to, to question you. Don't about, worry, yeah. I have a reason to question you about it. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to challenge me, just simply give my colleague your name your date of birth okay and then we can find out more as to all right okay at the moment at the moment i need i need you i need to know where i'm standing yeah i am detained by a police officer okay i'm not free hang on let me finish i'm not free to go you said you're detaining me under the, the terrorism act i'm asking you which section are you detaining me under that's it, 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 it oh, look are you refusing to get simple as this okay you've got two options give us your details yeah. or you get arrested so, do I have to give you my details? Yes. Under which law? Under the policing law. If you refuse... Under what, what? If you refuse, I'll simply arrest you. Not a problem. The Under which law? right there. The I can take act. you, you right. you to give you details, yeah, yeah. Or to your address and your name. The terrorism out. So, what we want currently from yourself is your name and date of birth, just to do, run some checks. Okay. To make sure everything's fine. And that's... <sighs> All right. Other than that, 
if you don't give those details, we're going to have to arrest you right. under the Terrorism Act because you're filming vehicles. Yeah, yeah. We have no understanding of why you're doing that. And by arresting, if you don't give details. All right, okay. I am filming, yeah, around, yeah. around the police station. Yeah, I did not, uh, I just, I was all on public land at all time. Hang on, let me finish. At all time. Okay, I am filming, I'm not denying this. I told you I'm filming matters of public interest. I'm making a docu, uh, whatever, a mo uh, not a movie, like a video for, uh, about the police. It's very difficult to, to make Sorry, a video. Are you making a video about the police while you're filming personal vehicles? Well, I didn't film personal vehicles, really. I filmed that, vi I filmed that. It's not illegal to film personal vehicles. No, but you're causing alarm and distress to some people. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. They cause me alarm and distress by following me. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. Now, I, I am right now detained for, under the Terrorism Act. Okay. By this officer. She didn't tell me. Hang on. Hang on. And no. we just want to ask you. Let me just finish. Let me just finish. I know you want to. I know you want to. She didn't tell me which section. You don't need to Just know the section. It's not the section. That's not a piece of legislation we use often. So okay. Find the section if you want. I will to, correct. I will tell her which section. I think you, you, it's section 43. Make sure it's section 43. Okay. Section 43 of the Terrorism Act does not require me to give you my name and address. Yeah. It, hang on. If you have reasonable. You, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Are you refusing my address? Because the next step is simply to arrest you. And it's the it's code. And code G is to identify persons and that what. That will be if the you, reason for arresting if you. If you suspect me that... interview you and to reason why you film. If you suspect me that I'm a terrorist? No, because no. you're refusing to give your name and address. Yeah, but I ask you which... Under the Terrorism Act? We're well, asking you your personal details. You're refusing to give them. I don't so have to. You'll be arrested. To. So, you're under arrest. It's okay. Patrick Cuffs, please. Kick up and form It's now 16, 25 hours and you're under arrest. You don't say anything. It may harm your defence if you do not mention when question. Something which later on in court, they could do say maybe give you an evidence. All right, so I'm not going to be aggressive, uh, officer. Yeah. Just put your hands uh, down around your record and I can put it into property brief. Do you have to put you. me in cuffs? I, I can come uh, well, I peacefully. Know. I don't know who you are. I'll come peacefully, officer. I understand that, but I don't know who you are. What it is, I uh, try not to put them too tight. Uh, I'm yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit claustrophobic. You recording first? We are aware of a video circulating that was filmed on Tuesday the 11th of January at Kidderminster Police Station, where our officers spoke to and detained a male. Whilst our officers deal with hundreds of interactions with members of the public on a daily basis, and do so professionally and fairly, we recognise on this occasion we got it wrong. <laughs> Having reviewed the footage, we understand this situation could have been handled better and we are genuinely sorry for this, and we wish to issue an apology to the individual involved. So there we have all the audits for round two. Please head over to my community page to vote for your choice. I'd just like to say a massive thanks as well to everyone who watched and got involved in the last round. There was loads of interesting comments and feedback, and it was neck and neck in the voting for ages, but then one just started to edge ahead, and I think we now have a winner. So cheers guys, roll this round over, cast your vote, and it's the final round next week. Peace.